Hello everyone and welcome to NJ Cali Garden family. I am your host NJ Cali Garden. Thank you for showing up today. Before we get to this content, I would like to announce our 100 subscriber giveaway. Every time we reach 100 subscribers, we would like we like to bless an individual with a, a little blessing. So, with that being said, we're going to announce two winners because we live behind. The first one is the New Orleans Gardener, the New Orleans Gardener, aka Ms. Linda. Congratulations to you, ma'am. The second winner is the VA Growing Gardener. Congratulations to you, sir. The VA Growing Gardener. Now, what I need you guys to do is send your information to our email address in the description. We will sh uh, ship your package to you as soon as possible so that you can get it. So please, please, please do us a favor. And to everyone who has been liking, sharing, commenting, we want to say thank you. We we appreciate you guys. Y'all don't even understand um, how much we uh, how much we feel the love and support from you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lady NJ and Little NJ. Also, thank you as well. Now let's get to this content, and I hope you guys have a blessed week ahead peace In front of you is our improved brown turkey fig tree from Dave Wilson Nursery. We purchased it bare root from our local nursery here in Central Valley in 2000, December 2019. And we potted it up in a five gallon container. Now, as I showed you earlier, um, the different fig trees that we do have one thing I have noticed without pruning for a whole year, this thing grows vigorous. And it is more vigorous than the other two varieties um, I am currently growing for the last three years. This improved brown turkey um, is a great uh, common fig tree for those who are rookies to grow figs. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna feed uh, our fig tree right now. Before we feed our fig tree, because I'm super excited about this. Uh, I don't have my mic on, so that's why you hear me um, speaking with you all right now behind the camera is I'm super excited because when it comes to propagating and uh, fruit trees one of the easy uh fruit trees to propagate is figs and this year we were able to propagate in 2021 this fig tree um and we did it the old italian method the old time method guys i'm super excited about this so i'm going to show you um that in a second but what i want to do is first is prune um an area of the fig tree where you don't want to um, allow your fig trees to grow unless you're growing it as a bush and i'm going to show you areas um in a second that you will need to cut away okay watch this so you can see all that growth here right well what i want to do is cut this right here at the base Move that. We don't need that. Okay. And now here is our cutting right here, y'all. This is the one we propagated using the old Italian method just by sticking it in the ground. 
well in the container <laughs> you can do this as well by just sticking it in the ground now you don't have to get rid of this guys I'm gonna show you what you can do but before I do that how we're gonna feed our fig tree you can use a granular feed fruit tree fertilizer you can also use a vegetable tomato fertilizer if you don't want to use none of that you can also use an all-purpose fertilizer by ivory organics and that's what we want to use now the way i'm going to use the ivory organics fertilizer is just by uh, using it as a tea but first i'm going to give this uh, fig tree some earth castings And then I could later just uh, place it, the uh, mulch back on top. And then come here, put my liquid, uh, because I already got the soil moisture ready from earlier. All I want to do now is just go ahead and pour the liquid feed. One, uh, one gallon pitcher of the fertilizer tea. Let that drain a little bit. Yes, you wanna be careful when it comes to location of where to plant your fish trees according to your growing zone and your climate. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Stay tuned. So I just want to show you guys how it looks. Excuse the sun is in the way right now, but this is right here. It's a fig, baby fig, like a nipple. That's a uh, baby fig here. We did not prune this fig tree again, but here it is. Since December 2019, this fig tree has been growing in this five gallon container. And we have not pruned until today, right there. And the branch that um, we rooted. Other than that, we really have not done anything to this tree. And I'm super happy because we did not use any root hormone, no raw honey, none of that. Just the old Italian method of exposing the scion at the base and stick it into this, the, this container or you can do this in the ground as um, the old Italian method um you do see as now that the um the fertilizer has settled it is now um exposed at the at the top layer and now um we could just wait for another month and go ahead and give it another feeding regimen this is the way we feed our fig trees and other fruit trees with ivy organic products so yeah just want to show you guys i'm going to show you how to make your own cutting now guys so I, I was able to cut a cutting from the condota fig tree all right and what i have done already i started to basically cut the branches off each one okay you can tell the green growth here is the new growth and right in between here where my pruners are is a new fig okay so we may just get a fig I don't know from this cutting here but make sure before you even do anything is to clean your your pruners your grafting knife or a razor whatever you're gonna use to propagate your fig tree your new fig tree All right so what I'm gonna do Y'all bear with me here. All right, be careful of the white sap. Some people are allergic to it. So what you're gonna do, you wanna wear gloves for that reason. What you wanna do is remove the leaf. Yeah. All right, be careful so you don't remove the fig. Cause that might just take. Some people will cut another leaf, this leaf in half. I'm just gonna remove it. You see this little pointy little look like a little thorn 
but right there is well that will actually sprout into a new leaf so you can see we cut a lot off so that it could focus on the root system now that there what I'm going to do very quickly is take my grafting knife okay right there off that's from the cutting all I'm gonna do is you see each little pointy bump here is a knoll where it used to be a leaf okay this is old wood all right all we're gonna do is you can scratch it like this you can do it with a razor a pair of scissors if you want but you can scratch it like that until you get to the to the scion or you could do this far distance like that like so until get this white stuff there it could do each side you don't gotta do that much some got on my face y'all sorry about that and all you want to do is now okay uh oh that was my mistake be careful put that up okay and we're going to place it right next to the brown turkey, this brown turkey cutting. Now I'm gonna put it on the other side here. Like so. And we're gonna allow it just to grow. And we definitely do know that the brown turkey fig cutting has rooted. But we're not gonna know until later on with that other fig tree, which is Godota. One thing I do want to mention to you guys is that um, location is key when it comes to fig trees. Just because it's in a Mediterranean uh, uh, climate doesn't mean that it's going to do so very well in your location. What I mean by that is sometimes it depends on where you live if that variety of fig tree would do best in your area. So if you live in a northern climate, so it's real cold, like you're in zone seven and um, below, you want to grow a, a Chicago Hardy. You want to grow. Uh, that's that's the main one that is really really known that would do well uh, in Chicago Hardy. And there's other look like two other varieties that do well. A uh, Blanc, I believe it's called. Y'all forgive me on the names. I'm just horrible at them. But <laughs> there's there's other names of varieties that does well in the cold climates. And then there's varieties like here in the West Coast that does great um, in Zone 9B, such as Pretus Honey, the Tiger, uh, the Cadotas, the Brown Turkeys, uh, the Mission Fig, the... Uh, there's I can't even think of it right now, y'all. My mind is blank. But there's so many other varieties. Um, there's over six thousand um fig trees, okay, that are com um that are in the included with the common and uncommon. And it, it is true that the common fig trees don't need a pollinator, but the uncommon, some of them do. And what that what type of pollinator I'm talking about. Is a special wops that pollinates certain fig trees. I'm NJ Kelly Gardner. I just want to give you a little update on how to um, start your own fig cuttings, how we feed our uh, fig trees if we're not using um, vegetable fertilizer, Dr. Earth fertilizer, or even, um, or even, even I've organics, all purpose fertilizers. Those are some of the fertilizers we use. And if we want to opt out, we go ahead and use compost and earthworm castings. I'm Engine Kylie Garden again. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace.